This video is sponsored by Guitar World. Hey, Steve Stein here. Thank you so much for joining me. If you're looking for an acoustic guitar that looks great, sounds great, and won't break the bank, check out Quartz Gold OC6 Bocote Acoustic Guitar. All right, to get things started, the first thing I did was I recorded a little jam that kind of showcases the tones that you can get from this guitar. Uh, very, very easy to dial in. So let's go ahead and check this out. All right, so hopefully that allowed you to hear a little bit of the tonal qualities that this guitar has to offer. So let's go ahead and dive in a little bit, start talking about the components, and then we're gonna actually listen to the guitar and see what we can do with the pickup configuration and such. Okay, first of all, OC6, what does that mean? Well, it's a six string guitar, OC meaning it's an orchestra model style body, but it does have the cutaway on it as well. Now, the sides and the back are actually made of solid bacote, which is an exotic tone wood similar to rosewood. And then the front is a solid spruce, and what they do is use an age to vintage processing on it, which really just kind of speeds up the maturity of the wood and gives you more of an open and clear sound, more rounded kind of sound. And so when you play it without plugging in, it sounds absolutely amazing. And um, again, you're not really gonna get a sense of it because I do have it plugged in for you. Hearing it from my, my vocal mic isn't really gonna do it justice, but. But you know, one of the most important things for me isn't just the, the kind of woods and things like that, which is certainly important, but what's most important is when you grab a guitar, how does it feel, right? Now, for me, being primarily an electric player that loves to play acoustic, but when I do play, play acoustic, I don't really want to fight with the guitar. So it's very important that the guitar feel good, and this guitar absolutely felt good right out of the box. I didn't need to set it up or anything like that, uh, which is really important. So. The next thing that's most important to me is how does it sound, right? When I plug it in, or if I'm gonna play it live or something like that, how does it sound plugged in? And that's what I wanna talk about next. All right, so let's look at the pickup in here and then listen to it and see what it sounds like. So we've got a Fishman Flex Blend pickup system in here, which basically is an undersaddle uh, piezo pickup, as well as an internal microphone. And what you can do is blend those to taste. So really, the great thing about this is, you know, when you're, when you're recording, you're going to try and find a, a nice blend of the DI signal, the piezo signal, and then that kind of authentic tone that you're getting from the microphone. When you're playing live, sometimes that mic can beca become a problem because it might start feeding back or something. So you can always dial that back a little bit if needed. But what I'm going to do is show you what they sound like uh, either way. And then you've got these three buttons here, and we're going to talk about what those do as well as we're going through this. So. The first thing, let's go ahead and I'm going to show you the first button here, which is the volume. Now, the volume on this, if you know most acoustic guitars, oftentimes if you turn the volume all the way up, it's still less signal than you'd get from, say, an electric guitar. Now, I'm plugged into my audio interface back here, and oftentimes when I record acoustic, even if I turn the volume all the way up, I wind up having to change the input gain on that channel, I have to raise that up because I don't have enough signal. On this guitar, it's just the opposite. When I turned it, when I plugged it in and turned it all the way up, 
I had more than enough signal, so I actually had to turn that down a little bit, so that's kind of nice to know. The other thing with that volume knob is that if you push it, you get a tuner on top of here. Now, the good thing is you should be able to hear this. Okay, if I'm playing, you can hear my guitar. Okay, but if I push it, it mutes the signal. So you'd hear it out here, but you're not gonna hear it when you're, when you're plugged in. So if you have to tune on stage or whatever it might be, that's a really nice handy feature as well. Now if we move over to the other side, okay, back here to what I'll call the left button back here, this is your tone, okay? And what you can do is you can dial this in to taste. If I turn it all the way counterclockwise, it gives a bit more beefy tone. Okay, if I turn it all the way to the right, it thins that out. And so I'll kind of move it into the center a little bit there. Now I did find as I'm turning this, there isn't like a little click in the center, like sometimes you'll have that click so you know you're in the center. You kind of have to get used to how much to turn that. And of course, you can just, you know, you turn it to taste as far as your ears go too. But So for finger picking and things like that, kind of in the center is a nice blend. The other feature of this left button, the tone button, is that if you push it, you can change the phase of the guitar. And that's really nice for really two different reasons. Number one, if you're playing at a lower volume and you hit that, when you reverse that, it gives um, one way or the other, whichever way you've got it. Again, when you're looking at the button, it doesn't tell you like you're on phase one or two or A or B or something like that. You just have to use it, um, you know, use your ears to decide how it sounds. But when you hit it, it'll either thin out a little bit. Let's say you're playing at a lower volume and you want to thicken the tone a little bit. If you hit that button, it'll fatten up a bit. And uh, if you hit it again, it'll thin down a little bit. And the other thing that's, that's very beneficial about that too is let's say you're playing on stage and you're at a certain volume and you start getting some feedback. When you hit that button, that might help you a little bit in being able to control some of that as well. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna move back and forth between those two settings so you can hear it. All right, so moving on to the middle button, we'll call that, right? This is where you can control the blend of the two, the two pickups inside here, the, um, the piezo and then the microphone, okay? All right, so let's mess with this a little bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn this all the way uh, clockwise, which should be the microphone, I believe. You can hear it, I can't. I'm just playing acoustically. It's recording into my system, so. All right, let's go to the other side. So we're going counterclockwise. Again, back to the other side. So let's blend those. So we're gonna move, again, there's no click in the center. You just have to sort of eyeball it and see about where center is and then just use your ears to taste. So to wrap this up, I really want to say it's important for you to find a guitar that feels good and sounds good. Now there's no doubt that this guitar looks great, but more important than that is 
Uh, how does it work for you in terms of your daily playing? Like for me, the two things, as I said at the beginning, that are very important to me is number one, it has to fit easily into my workflow. Because I'm always doing recording of some capacity, I have to be able to get a really good tone really quick out of the guitars that I use, and this guitar absolutely works wonderfully for that. And the second thing is, is that it's got to feel good. You've got to be able to do whatever it is you want to do on this guitar neck, and it's got to be able to feel good to you. And again, I, I'm being completely honest, it feels absolutely amazing. So those are the two things that I think about more than, you know, how great it looks, although that is certainly uh, an important element. It's, can I play it easily? And I still really do believe that this guitar would be great for, because it's not so expensive, it'd be great for a beginner or intermediate player or an electric player that wants to, you know, find a good acoustic to play, or somebody who just needs a guitar to be able to plug in and do your home recording or professional recording or whatever and be able to get a great tone right away. It's a great guitar for that. So I'd like to wrap this up by saying thank you so much to Court. Thank you so much to Guitar World for allowing me to play this guitar. And remember, if you're interested, check out Court and look up the Court Gold OC6 Bacote Acoustic and see what you think of it.